Yeah, my name is Ajo, and that's spelled A-J-O. I'm originally from Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm an artist. I'm a singer-songwriter and perform when the world is open. Inspiration is, it's a hard question to answer because there's so many and different ones for different eras of my life. But TLC's Crazy Sexy Cool album is like my source code. I'm, I'm a fiend for SoundCloud. I love digging around SoundCloud and just listening to the unknowns, to new sounds, people who are really doing something different. The indie artists out here like me and other folks on SoundCloud, you, um, you're more adventurous with music, I think. And then sometimes those people become mainstream and then like the sounds evolve even more. Don't say nothing to me, dog. I'm on a roll. I'm black and gold on dirty rims, on 24s, and I'm on your necks if you didn't know. The only instrument I play uh, somewhat proficiently is guitar. I have love for Fender because that was my very first guitar. I have it more as a memento now, um, and my current gu guitar is in Ibanez. Tallman, so I mean, that one's holding me down. The acoustic does bring something different to the music. It, it just feels more grounded and like organic when I'm playing an acoustic guitar. And the acoustic, you can bring into any environment also. So, I mean, I like that being a staple of my performance that I can walk in, I can play live with an instrument without anyone else. And I also have the option to play with a backing track. Or we could plug in and give you a different feel that way. Today we're in Chelsea in an artist loft and uh, we're recording a R&B group. What I'm trying to get is a really close proximity microphone sound. I'm trying to get a lot of intimacy, a lot of detail in all the sounds that I'm recording. I'm trying to get a drum set that sounds very full, very up in your face. Same with that vocal sound. I'm gonna get a few different guitar sounds, both from the acoustic body, as well as I'm gonna be miking the uh, amplifier itself. And we're gonna mix all that down and have a lot of options in post to make a really cool, great sounding dynamic track. Today on the shoot, we've got a Shure SM7B for vocals. We've got two Neumann TLM 103s for guitar one on the body of the electric guitar and another on the amplifier. We've got uh, for our drum set a Audix D6 on the kick drum. We've got a Shure SM57 on the snare drum, a Shure SM81 on the hi-hat. For any extra shaker sounds that we might have, we've got a Rode TF5 microphone. And on the bass, we've got a radial J48 active DI box. I think that the Shure SM57, if I had to take five things with me on a desert island, might be one of them. It's good for just about everything, and it's gonna give us a really classic snare drum sound, a uh, dynamic cardioid pickup pattern. Uh, can't possibly go wrong with it. I went with the Shure SM7B today for vocals, uh, particularly because of the R&B style that we're going for. Uh, but as well because even though this is a cardioid pickup pattern, it does have really great off-axis rejection. Uh, that's really important for me when I've got a big drum set right behind uh, the microphone source, right behind the singer, and I'm trying to get an isolated vocal. As well, it's giving me that really excellent presence, that sound and feeling that you are right there up against the singer's voice, uh, which is ideal for this genre of music. Window down. Pull up at the start of ground. We sliding and we vibing, we minding our own business. This is cruising music. Ah. I love cruising music. I know it's my song, but sometimes you have songs that you, you are more excited about <laughs> than others. That is my newest song, but the love I have for it is because um, it was collaborative. So uh, my friend slash producer, Thirteenth Law, actually sent me like. The beat skeleton for that they had the bass line, some scratch drums, and that's initially where I dug out the inspiration for the song. Just sat back and listened to that and decided what images does that summon for me? It just immediately made me think of like Bun B and like Southern hip hop, just like driving slow, like, you know, just like serving looks like from your car <laughs> type of vibe. I just thought it was a good opportunity to like stuff that song full of imagery 
that I love about that feeling when you're in your car. And I think you feel invincible sometimes, just like getting around your car, you know. You have your own, it's your own little moving fortress. And then you got your soundtrack, whatever that may be, to put you in a, a zone. And I think some people, a lot of people can relate to. Doing Too Much is a song, I feel like I want five more songs like Doing Too Much. Like, I love the vibe of that song. I actually found it, uh, the producer on this app called Voicey originally, which is an app where producers can like upload beat snippets and singers can just sing to them. Um, which was like, that's the first time I've ever come across a beat in that fashion. So I thought that was very 2021 of me to do. And uh, sometimes I just try to amuse myself with my lyrics too. I just think the idea of like, you know, whatever you did, you messed up. And like, you know, Bae's not messing with you right now. And then you're just like, I'll do whatever to get him back. <laughs> That's kind of the idea. So it's a little like, not taking yourself too seriously. You know, you might be groveling or whatever. And it's just like, you don't care. You don't have any shame. <laughs> you don't have any shame about it. So I think that's funny. You made me want to come through. Corner out the two. Just to put it down on you. You made me want to replay all the things that you and me would do. We chose the cover Come Through by Summer Walker. Uh, number one, she's dope. She's another girl on guitar. And I feel like she just has a really distinctive approach to R&B. And because it's also like, I think that's the Usher song, You Make Me Wanna, came out either early 2000s, around that period. But basically like throwback R&B, which I love, I'm a huge fan of. So it just, it was like best of both worlds, contemporary R&B and a little bit older R&B together. So, I mean, I just hope we did the cover justice. We have fun playing it. You made me wanna put it down on you. You made me wanna put it down on you. You made me wanna put it down, 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 down. You made me down. Follow me at Night Owl Social Club on Instagram, and my music is available on all streaming platforms. You can get through it directly through the description under this video. So click and read through that and keep up with me.